Hello, my name is Maria Davidova, and this paper is co-authored with uh, Shanu Sharma on my right and uh, Dermot McNeil on the bell and Fernando Lozidis, uh, who unfortunately cannot be here now at this uh, recording. Uh, we will be discussing uh, up uh, for cross-species economy uh, that we developed in the context of uh, Bell School of Architecture studio course at Masters of Architectural Design. But we are fully based in uh, very different countries. Uh, uh, Shano is in Bhopal and Dermot is in New Zealand. And Fernando is from the School of Computer Sciences uh, in, uh, in Cardiff. Uh, so let's, let's explain what, what is this about. Basically, the discussion is about that the, the dependent, the, we are all dependent on the overall ecosystem. You don't have harvest without pollinators, for instance. However, recent economic models do not reflect it, and that's why we are facing uh, biodiversity extinction. So we will be discussing multi-centered design for cross-species colliding to have a flourishing environment for all. This is, uh, this is the work the students did. This is a uh, gigamap that the students did, where the students have been deciding small-scale prototypical urban interventions. And in the same time, they were relating that to larger social and environmental systems. Uh, here is a gigamap of uh, certain prototypes, which the students realized and uh, placed them in a Grange Town uh, community in Cardiff. So uh, let's get to the app. The app is uh, introducing uh, uh, the possibility that also uh, uh, other species have wallet. Uh, so the pollinator can be paid for pollinating your tomato and then uh, it can buy for instance, uh, the insect hotel the students designed or people would be joining their app and uploading their DIY recipes. Just to show you quickly, quickly through the app, uh, I will not go too much into detail, but uh, basically here you are placing, uh, placing uh, uh, tasks for, uh, for Making, uh, making interventions for different species, generating co connectivity in urban environment. Uh, and I have to log in to show you more. So here you can act on behalf of other species. So for instance, uh, I can give a task uh, as an insect or as a land animal, we would like to have uh, better differentiation. However, this is uh, this is just uh, starting uh, starting prototype. So you can put task as uh, as Maria Davidova, or you can put task uh, as as a butterfly. Uh, and uh, by by doing different tasks, you are gaining uh, gaining tokens. And when you gain tokens, you can give tasks and pay others to do do the favors for for the for the address and you have uh, you have list of uh, the DIY recipes uh, uh, which the students uh, recorded uh, DIY recipes which they placed on YouTube and uh, you can uh, you can uh, reproduce different uh, different DIYs. I will not go into detail. Uh, we have QR code at the end of our presentation and you we would be very happy if you all test uh, test our app and give us some feedback. So let's get to the methodology of the design of the app. Yeah, hello everyone. So in this entire project, there was one thing that was very interesting, that this entire work was progressive in nature. A lot of students have already understood the idea of uh, cross species living together, the idea of synergetic landscape. So students already had idea about the previous work of creating DIY recipes to create better uh, system design for species and human uh, collaborations. However, one challenge that we faced in this particular task now that this entire system that we have designed with DIY recipes and uh, the projects that we have already done in the previous years, now we have to convert into a game-like structure so that this entire things can be magnitude, the magnitude can be increased. So the impact of each
rich DIY recipes can we create a ripple effect along the community and our people can participate and at the same time similar uh, species, similar DIY recipes can be replicated throughout the system. In order to do that, with this particular workshop, we started creating a digital uh, format of working where students went on the ground, collected ground information about the problem related to the cardiac uh, community in, um, in the uh, Gretsch town. Yeah. So they collected a lot of information about the marginalized community and what are their needs. So they mapped this entire problem in this particular chart that what are the human artifacts problems that are there in order to create a community uh, welfare. Then also about the environment, what are the problems issues with the environment and how human and non human actors are. Uh, what is the current context of the humans and non human uh, actors in the neighborhood? Can we go to the next slide? So, once uh, the group members, the participants were able to collect information of the ground, like what is happening in the community, we asked them to divide each things into a gap game design canvas. Students were asked to brainstorm systematically about the benefits that uh, humans are getting from the non human community and non human stakeholders are getting from the human communities. So this is a very important to start with in order to design the possibility of a game like situation that how incentives are associated with each step when they are acting upon it. So with this entire layers that we did, we also asked uh, found out what are the positive and negative aspect of their interdependence with each other. With these more and more layers, we try to Another level, we ask them to find out what are the actions that are required uh, required in order to make things better for both the uh, stakeholders. And we go to the next slide. By arriving all these things, like what kind of DIY recipes are required and what kind of incentives are required in order to make this ripple effect bigger. So, what is the interest of humans in order to create more DIY recipes. So what kind of tokens will be interested so that they will create more actions in the direction. And like that, the final thing was, what is the proposed strategy for women? Based on this entire canvas, if we go to the next slide, students came back again and again on, so this was the whole canvas and can we go to the next slide? Based on this entire canvas, students proposed all the strategy of game winning and losing and also created different levels of the game that has been reflected in this app. Yeah, so over to uh, demo. Thank you, Shanu. In this section, we'd like to talk about token economy and the technology because token economies and complementary currencies are not a new thing. What is new is blockchain and the extent to which transactions can occur without human inter intervention and this creates some interesting possibilities within the context of this uh, research next slide please maria and within the context of this what it allows is other things in the natural environment to have wallets to have cryptocurrency and to have transactions automated it gives them agency in economic or transactional systems next slide please now, these, these affordances within this research and within this, this app offer some real interesting speculation and possibilities about how this technology might alter our relationship with other species and to the natural environment. Next slide. So, for example, the 19th and 20th century has been largely defined, or this relationship has been defined, through the colonization and capitalization of the natural world. Next slide. And we're speculating, we were asking the question within this work, can the 21st century, the Anthropocene, can we shift this relationship away from one that's exclusively about material extraction, that's about uh, sort of species, uh, other species domination and domestication and short-term capitalization? Uh, next slide, please. And perhaps move the relationship, redefine it as one of mutual transactional benefit, or interestingly, uh, the idea of intergenerational value exchange. Across, across species. Now, I'll just talk for a, a couple of moments about the technology that we use in this. It's built largely, uh, just uh, the previous slide, please, Maria. 
Um, it's built uh, largely with a progressive web application. Now, this creates the potential for maximum cross compatibility and a co consistent experience across many devices. It's an application software that is delivered to devices through the web, and it's built with very, very common uh, web technology. It's a type of web page or type of website. Uh, next slide, please. So if you take a look at the list of the, the type of technologies that this is built with, you'll see that there's nothing esoteric here. There's nothing idiosyncratic. It's all about maximizing access uh, to this on as many devices as possible. Now, the only caveat is, is that this particular version, because it's built with a progressive web application and it's essentially a web page, it requires an internet connection in order to work. Now, future versions, we might change that, but for this one, uh, one of the limitations is that you do need to be in a location where you have an internet access to use the app. Uh, and with that, uh, Maria, I can, I can hand back to you. Thank you very much. Uh, so just to start summarizing, uh, this is a Gigamap I did actually a very long time ago, and uh, I was uh, listing different projects and relating their agents, if what agents are working uh, within those projects. And to, uh, by uh, mapping all those feedback loops, I realized that what is the best of, for other agents is also best, best for uh, humans. So when we are discussing uh, the non-anthropocentric uh, design, uh, the non-anthropocentric design is in fact the most beneficial to uh, Anthropos as well. So we discussed the transition towards post-Anthropocene, towards biodiversity and climate change adaptation through multi-centered and multi-species design, transition from human-centered to non-anthropocentric, and this is uh, the research by design through feedback loop, where it's involved collective giga mapping, ecosystemic prototypical interventions, and their hyper objective relations. Uh, this is a transition for cities from people towards the participation of both biotech and abiotech agency towards one feedback looping ecosystem, the real life co design laboratory. The real life co design laboratory we are proposing here is consistent of living ecosystem community and token regenerative economy. The ecosystem community involves co-design, DIY prototypes, and redesign through real life. The blockchain regenerative economy involves uh, biotech agency appreciation, uh, where the real-time values uh, are redesigned from the bottom up. Thank you very much. If you are interested in the app, please scan this QR code and uh, test the app and give us a feedback.